Welcome back to our channel, where we explore fascinating aspects of our furry friends. Today, we're diving into a topic that many dog owners have noticed. Why do puppies breathe so fast when they sleep? Let's find out. Puppies, like human babies, require a lot of sleep to support their rapid growth and development. On average, puppies sleep for about 18 to 20 hours a day, which is much more compared to adult dogs. During this sleep, you might have noticed that their breathing seems unusually fast. The reason behind the fast breathing lies in a puppy's higher metabolic rate. Puppies have smaller bodies and higher energy requirements compared to adult dogs. Their organs and body systems are growing and functioning at a faster pace, which results in an increased demand for oxygen. Another factor that contributes to fast breathing during puppy sleep is the presence of REM, rapid eye movement, sleep. Just like humans, dogs experience REM sleep, which is associated with dreaming and brain activity. During this phase, a puppy's breathing may become irregular and faster as their brain is more active. Puppies are less capable of regulating their body temperature compared to adult dogs. To compensate for this, their bodies use panting and faster breathing as a way to cool down when they feel too warm. Puppies also have higher heart rates than adult dogs. Their hearts beat faster to ensure efficient blood circulation and oxygen delivery to support their rapid growth and development. As puppies mature and reach adulthood, their breathing will generally slow down and become more consistent. Once their bodies have fully developed, their metabolic rate and energy requirements will decrease, resulting in a calmer and more relaxed breathing pattern. So, the next time you see your adorable puppy breathing fast while sleeping, remember that it's completely normal. Their higher metabolic rate, REM sleep, temperature regulation, and rapid growth are all contributing factors. If you have any concerns about your puppy's breathing or notice any other unusual symptoms, it's always a good idea to consult with a veterinarian. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.